I just think he's so... <sighs> Let's serve up some news, sunny side up. The Daily Mail reports that there's a new time-saving trend making the TikTok rounds. The next time you go grocery shopping, instead of paper or plastic, try a laundry basket. What? That's right, you can use it to shop, then check out and just load it on back into your car, plop it down, then you can take it out and throw it right back in your house and this solves the old, like, soups can roll around problem or the bag breaking. Who's in for this? Huh. Huh. Um, you, you love this. I live for a laundry basket. <laughs> I love laundry. I know you do. It's so weird. I love it I about love you. I love it. Um, I, I could, okay. I, I kind of get how this works. I, I don't know that I, I don't know that I'll try this, but I will tell you this. I do hate paying the 10 cents for a bag at the grocery store. So I'll do, I mean, even here in the city, I'll do whatever it takes to avoid it. So I will carry like garbanzo beans, tuna fish, a bottle of Fresca. I will carry it eight blocks just to avoid carrying a bag. So maybe I should just bring a laundry basket. Mm. The Detroit News reports hometown hero Eminem has just opened a brand new restaurant called Mom's Spaghetti. It's inspired by a famous lyrics from Lose Yourself and the song from 8 Mile. And today we do have Mom's Spaghetti right here. Uh, and it's an interesting take on his classic. They serve it reheat style. They cook the pasta before and then they heat it up in a wok for that leftover feel. This is a TV exclusive. We yeah, have, okay. this is really it from Detroit. Okay, mom. <laughs> now listen, I've always thought that the only thing better than Italian food is leftover reheated Italian food. So I'm, thank you. I'm all about. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. This okay. is really good. Okay, really, really good. Mm -hmm. Really good. This is so incredible. You want a meatball to taste like that classic. <laughs> Why they gotta put the camera on me when I'm taking the big bite? <laughs> Oh, I stuffed an entire ball in my mouth. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to. <laughs> you. I love him, him so much. Like, mm -hmm. I think he's like the greatest. Yeah, he's fantastic. Like, he's my goat. I gotta tell. I just think he's so. <sighs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We've got to talk about neighbors. We've all got him. Uh, but are you best buds with them? Are you strangers? Do you avoid them? What's your deal with your neighbors? Because Town & Country reports that before the pandemic, data showed that 30% of people were friends with their neighbors, while at the other extreme, 30% said they were total strangers. But a more recent study found that during the pandemic, one out of three people said they got a lot closer with their neighbors. Dakota, what is your neighbors like, who are they, and what's your relationship with them? One neighbor I don't talk to, and then the other neighbor is Jimmy Kimmel. I love him! I love him too. And I don't know his wife, Molly. They're... She's amazing. Okay, so those- They're great neighbors. Are amazing neighbors. Yes. Except they have a lot of parties and they don't invite me. <laughs> is this for real? Because, you know, people have gotten in trouble for claiming not being invited to your oh my parties. God. That was amazing, by the way. Like, amazing. We've got a fascinating fact that we just learned about, uh, well, another hero of all of ours um, and yeah. someone you worked intimately with, Oprah. <laughs> uh, People reports that she recently went on Hoda's podcast to reveal that when it comes to friends, the magic number is Three. Oprah says she doesn't have a lot of friends. It's just Gail, Maria Schreiber, and her trainer, Bob Green. Um, Lisa, what do you think about this magic three number with your colleague, Oprah? Well, it, it's funny, because I did work for Oprah for a long time, and it was hard to imagine being friends with her, because I just, I was so in awe of her. And I just, I would just stare at her. <laughs> she would probably not want to be friends with someone like me, because <laughs> I was creeping her out. Yeah. All of my friends, um, I have more than three, uh, but they are 40, 30, and 20 years in the making. Today's pick for the Little Yellow Book is one for anyone who likes to keep their hands clean as well as their conscience. It's Blue Land's Mickey and Friends Hand Soap Kit. It's an $18 investment, but here's what you get. 
um, a glass bottle that you permanently keep and then you get the little refills. And what I love about this is I'm a big Blue Land fan. They're one of my favorite environmentally conscientious brands. Um, but this is a great way to get your kids thinking in the right direction. So this is a great time to get your kids started on planet saving tips. So this is planet saving because you're making it in a glass jar you keep, you're not throwing away the plastic uh, soap container, right? I am so awake when it comes to plastic and trying to find the alternatives because I want there to be a planet for my kids. Yeah. And um, I think this is just a great, optimistic, fun way to do it.